Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos are uplifting or just give you a good vibe that you truly need it, please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share. It will be greatly appreciated. Send so much love, light, upliftment, whatever you're needing just to get through your days, hours, weeks, months, years, whatever. I'm sending it towards you a million times fold. Anybody that's coming in with low vibration, nefarious thoughts, motives, intentions, or whatever you're trying to do to destroy, block, distract, whatever. Ugh, I'm sending that right back towards you. Whatever you're doing, everything is divinely guided, heavily protected, and ultimately loved. So, sending that right back towards you 20 million times fold. And the video I'm about to do today is tw Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka is no longer the sacrificial lamb. It's time for your transcension for deliverance. It sure is, you know. Uh, it's just like I know <laughs> in a deep vibration of what it is to be a sacrificial lamb. You know, I got tired of being always being a sacrifice and stuff like that. Is that time for me to move on, being able to be the strength that I never knew I can carry to be something I can project towards other people to do the same? You know, being able to do that is not easy. You know, you're going through different things in your life, and you know, you may have been the scapegoat and you end up becoming the goat. You know, you are always seen as the problem, but then realize you're the ultimate solution. Solution. You know that, you know, a lot of different setbacks, failures, stalls and malls and, you know, distractions and all that stuff. It prepared you for an ultimate comeback, you know, blow up, glow up, all these different things, you know, it's taking place into your life where, you know, it may make you feel like you're going around in circles. You're really trying to understand the clarity of what is taking place into your life. A lot of times you're trying to find yourself out of a rabbit hole, but it can be like, shoot, sometimes you can't even find yourself getting out of your own paper bag. And it is like that. And it's, it's, you know, it'll be times that it can really be like that. You know, you're just tr trying to live throughout the day and, you know, saying your affirmations, saying your mantras, you know, trying to show attitude of gratitude towards everything that's taking place in your life. But there's times where you're feeling like you, you feel heavy. You know, you feeling really heavy, like, you know, I'm putting out all this and I, you know, barely seeing nothing in return. You know, I'm forgiving a lot of things that are unforgivable. And, you know, I'm really not seeing the blessings out of that at times, you know, like I'm seeing it, but I'm not really seeing it. Or, you know, universe is telling you they're proud of you and, you know, and, you know, they're, they're really impressed with all the changes you took place. But it's like all the struggle you're constantly going through. You're really not feeling that. And it, it's just like, you know, it takes time for us to really step back. You know, a lot of times it's, you know, being honest, you know, <laughs> being very transparent. Sometimes it's hard to be able to see the full perspective of everything that you go through day by day because it's really hard on being who you are. You know, especially if you're that person that's, uh, you know, changing, you know, you're, you're cutting cycles and breaking chains of generational curses. Things don't come easy for us. It's not for the weak at heart. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, this is stuff you're doing. You're weak and you're this and this and that. You, you step foot in my shoes and we, we want to see what you want to call weak because there's a lot of things I've overcome. I don't even, you know, make me question my own self. Like, how the heck did I overcome that? You know, this was a struggle within a whole struggle of a thousand struggles. And I'm truly, really trying to understand why, how am I still standing within that piece? And you know, it's all that up there. You know, all that up there. And you're just really trying to go on the day by day because it's just like it's preparing you for your deliverance. You know, your salvation, your, your redemption and all these different things, even when it doesn't feel like it. But it's just like. You know, a lot of times we have to really step back and it's just like when we give up, it is just like it makes me think of that post that I've seen before that I saved. I haven't, I don't know if I shared it or not because I don't share so many daggone posts. You know, don't even, it ain't even funny. But it's just like where if when you give up, it, it'll, it'll be just like you're disappointing a lot of your ancestors and your guys that had confidence in you that you can overcome something. And it's just like you don't want to be able to be that type of person that gives in like that will shoot you. Know, ain't going to allow you to do that. You can give up all you want to. And like, oh, okay, we're going to give you a break because we know this stuff, what you're dealing with is no, is no walking apart. You know, you ain't, you know, you ain't picking daisies and tiptoeing through the daggone tulips and junk like that. You really going through some war zones. 
you know, you are really going through some heavy wars and battles. It's just like you playing Marco Polo during, you know, where there's landmines and stuff that you can t step on and really just blow up, you know. And those are the different things that we go through on a daily basis, and it's not easy. And it's not easy. And universe always reminds us, it's just like, don't think that everything that you're going through is in vain. You know, don't think that we don't see the things that come towards your way that really disturbs, it even disturbs us. But we know these are different things that is going to take you higher than you ever been. You know, um, especially if you're that type of person where you have had people that have crossed over and you hear hear them say, you know, hey, you know, we see you. We, we see you. I'm trying. To, oh, God, dog, I'm trying not to cry. And it would be just like they really see you. They see all the different things that you've gone through in life. They see all the things that was planned for you that really, did, you know, that really disturbed your peace. They really kept you up at night. They just left you crying on days in and days out, you know, to where you're just tired of being tired. And you're just trying to, you know, make a way. And it's just like you, you, you look at the different things that you have gone through in life. And, and it can really show you how the world can be very cold. It can be very cruel no matter how much love you put in it. It can be very cold towards you. Like you, you're not owed that. You know, it, it's always like you don't deserve to be loved. You don't deserve to have peace in your life. You don't deserve this. You know, why couldn't that be me? You know, you hear that type of vibration that goes on around you. And they don't know how it's hard being who you are. It's like you don't get a day off from redemption you don't have a get a day off from people trying to count you out or people trying to take you out it's always something with you you know it'll be it'll be different times where if you can go through a whole day without having somebody trying to block a blessing or trying to disturb your peace or trying to project or try to trigger and you can go through a day or two within that that, that man that's a reward that's a win-win chicken dinner you know and it'll be different things like that and they know how hard it is for you to be able to go through those things and it's just like all we can do is just take it day by day you know, we can't look at the whole staircase because when we do, we get stressed out about stuff like that. That's why they tell us to take one step at a time. They know it's hard being who we are. We didn't ask for this, but we signed up for it. You know, and it's just at times you get tired. They know that. They know at times where we, we, we're we feeling like uh, I'm really not... I'm really not happy. I'm really not at peace. But I'm trying my best to be at that. Even if I got to fake it to make it. I'm trying my best to be able to do that. You know, trying to be grateful. Even though I'm ready to pop off on y'all at any daggone second. You know, I'm working hard just to see so little back. You know, I can give $10 million out and I get 2% back. You know, even when I'm not looking for nothing. I feel like my life shouldn't be the way it is. Though all the stuff that I got going on that I do for other people. I shouldn't have to do that. There's many people that say that. You know, and they're telling you this is preparing you for that. Even though it's just like, you know, I heard that before. You know, and they be like, or you just don't know how close you are to your blessing. It's around the corner. It's like, is that that around that corner? Is it what what corner is that? You know, is that in the same dimension? Is this in the same time frame? Or is this in a parallel universe that you're saying on around that? Because I really don't see that shit. You know, it can be one of those different things. And they get it. They're like, mm -hmm, you're trying to be a smart ass, ain't you? Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. I've been hearing that for the last couple of years. You know, and be one of those type of people. But they're telling you. You are no longer that person because you're always protected. Even when people are trying to sacrifice you. Sacrifice you in some kind of way. Like you're always getting the, the short end of the stick. And they know that. You know, even when it, it's just like... Even when they know we're upset about the stuff that we go through because you're trying so hard to be something that you're not used to being. You know, you, you're doing some stuff that you, you know... You didn't know that you were going to be prepared to be able to do. You know, this is not no time where we get a day off or we get vacation pay or, you know, I got a 401k. You know, all these different things. There's some kind of way. There's times when we take heavy losses. We sacrifice a lot of different things. You know, you want good things in your life and they tell you, you have to stop doing this, stop doing that, stop doing this if you want to get that. And then when you do it, you still ain't seeing what it is, you know, or you make a decision and you still got all these damn stupid ass tests you got to go through even after the test you done passed. It'll be different stuff like that. But they're telling you your deliverance is on its way. 
And it will be one of those different things that you had never prepared yourself for just because they know what you're going through is not easy. And it will be at that point where I ain't asked for all that, but I just need peace in my life. Can I just get that? You ain't got to give me all that extra stuff. Because that means if I got to do that, that means I got to stay here a little bit longer. Can I just get what I can get right now? And you can get that to somebody else because I'm tired of all this, boss. You know I'm tired of going through all that. And they're like, no, nah, you still got some while to go. And you be ready to just give them the finger or roll the eye and really want to pop off saying something. And they're telling you, you know, you got this. Even though you may not feel it, you got this. You go day in and day out. And a lot of times, it, it, even when I can say, there'll be days I got to wipe my eyes with tears falling in it and saying I'm grateful. Even when I don't feel it, I still say I'm grateful for something. I just don't know what it is right now, but I'm going to give you that that vibe because I know there's something you protected me from today that I don't know that you did. Or there are certain good things that I didn't place in my life that you've done but I appreciate that even though I'm like mad at you right now and it was just like okay we'll take that <laughs> and be going up just like oh I want to say something to you so bad but I ain't trying to be popped down with anything else I'm already, I already got enough stuff going on in my life but that's what's going on but just take the day by day you know you're 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 going through that to where you're coming through ultimate deliverance you know even though a lot of times you got to keep telling yourself that 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 fall off is going to be that combat you know that when you get knocked down, you're preparing you for a hefty comeback. When you having a blow up, you 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 going through a blow up of of you know bag full of failures. It's going for an infinite you know glow up for things that you ain't never had. And it's just like any time you take a there's always a uh, there's always a big win through a hefty fail, and that's what they're trying to tell you. And you know just allow yourself to keep going. It's, that's all you can do is just keep on going you know the things that we do is not easy you know this is not make for the weak at heart that's why we we go through so much because it's really showing you what a warrior goes through is not something that's petty you gonna go through some heavy stuff to where you know it, it'll be like if anybody else would have dealt with that that stuff they wouldn't have got as far as you did they would have been probably trying to sacrifice their own selves, would have took their own self out, or would have took other people out in, in, in its place. But yet, you didn't do none of those things. Even though it may have crossed your mind, but you didn't. So, allow yourself to keep going day by day. Don't allow yourself to look at the, the whole staircase, but just take one step at a time. So, I hope you were able to resonate with the content of that video as soon as I said that. I said, I see one, two, three, four. Um... Uh, this video, you know, all my contact information is in the description box below. I hope you are able to uh, enjoy your holidays. I hope you had a blessed, safe weekend and you were responsible for everything you did. You know, sending so many love and blessings towards your way. Even through uh, social distancing, please give out love, like positivity, words by frequencies. You know, those can really take somebody a long way. Just for you doing that for the positive way, it can take you even further. Much love. Peace.